I hope you're hungry! In Taiwan, for a buck, you can get a bowl of delicious oyster noodle soup. This country has world-famous night markets where you can find plenty of street food to fit any budget. When you're traveling, you don't want to be weighed down with a bunch of heavy clothes. You probably won't even wear half of them. Save some luggage space and find a good laundry service. You can wash around one pound of clothes for a dollar in Malaysia. Oh, and I almost forgot, you can get some nice local breakfast for the same price too. If you find yourself in the Caribbean and you want to buy some pirate corn on the cob, it's a buccaneer. Hey, that joke cost me a dollar. Do you think it's possible to buy 10 eggs for the price of one dollar? You can in Malaysia. Wonder why they sell eggs in groups of 10. Which one dollar option would you choose in Vietnam? Two nice cups of local coffee, five local newspapers, one year of insurance for your motorbike, a good hair wash, or four delicious rolls. (laughs) And now we're talking! If you're in Indonesia on a budget, you can always get a full meal of chicken porridge, meatballs, and chicken noodles. And if you need some help back to your hotel, a motorbike taxi will cost you around a dollar, as long as it's a short enough ride. In Bangkok, Thailand, there's a long-tail boat that takes you from one side of a wide river to the other. And for a dollar, you can ride on it a whole six times, back and forth, back and forth. Are your feet swollen from the flight? Give yourself a 30-minute foot massage in the Philippines, something you can actually get for a dollar over there. Hello there, Sri Lanka! While there, you can buy a 5-hour bus or train ride across the island for about a dollar. If you don't feel like traveling all over, search for some local places to try their traditional coconut pancakes for the same price. Meanwhile, in Armenia, you can choose between a huge pack of flour, a big sack of potatoes, or three loaves of bread. What would you even do with all that stuff? Hey, how about turkey? Eh, not the Thanksgiving one. Only got a few coins in your pocket? There's a nice cup of Turkish tea waiting for you. It's actually the most popular hot drink in the country. Or if you want to eat something delicious, you can have a piece of the sweet pastry baklava. Okay, one dollar won't get you the biggest piece ever, but it's still worth it. A hot dog for a dollar? That's not a trap. It's the real price you can actually find on the streets of Macedonia. Meanwhile, in Croatia, you can get a ticket for public transportation, local newspapers, or a scoop of excellent ice cream. Oh yeah, and a cup of cappuccino at a local coffee shop, too. Speaking of a good coffee, yes, Italy! Need a slap-in-the-face espresso after your all-night party session? No problem! You'll have to search around a bit for some less touristy places to get it for a dollar, but it's doable. If you're in Rome, looking for something to see, you'll definitely want to snap a couple of pics at the Colosseum. It's actually free. But there are local actors dressed up in gladiator uniforms, and it's customary to tip them at least a dollar. Not your thing? Pick up two bottles of water for the same price. But wait, 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 we're still not done with Italy. Why not go completely wild and spend another dollar, this time to buy a house? Yeah, you heard me right. Okay, to be precise, these houses cost one euro, so that's going to be around a dollar and 20 cents. But still, you could try to bargain with them. And no, it's not that real estate in Italy that's insanely priced. There's a story behind it. Italy's trying to attract new residents back to their tiny towns to increase the population. People have been moving out of these areas, headed for the cities to look for work. These towns just want to bring some life back onto their streets. Moving to the UK now. You can definitely find something for a dollar. The question is, how do you handle it? How about a $1 pickled egg? Yup, an egg boiled and then pickled in vinegar. It's a classic over there, usually served as a side dish for fish. When you're in London, you can visit most museums for a dollar. Okay, okay, you got me. Museums there are mostly free. So, a whole bunch of pickled eggs, anyone? Now, you can't visit France without tasting an authentic baguette. But the fact that you can get it for a dollar makes it even better. Baguette is the French word for stick, and it's one of the most famous French products. There was a law passed in 1920 that banned bakers from starting work before 4 a.m. or from working past 10 p.m. The bakers had to come up with a fast-baking bread to feed to everyone. And ta-da! That's when the baguette showed up. 
Iceland is a beautiful country, but also one of the most expensive in the world. There aren't many things you can buy for a dollar in Iceland, but milk is the exception. How about a good old bag of chips? This afternoon snack cost about a dollar in Ireland. Smoky bacon flavor for me. In Luxembourg, you can get a 1.5 liter bottle of water for this amount. Yeah, not a lot going on over there, but still an interesting country. It's the only grand duchy in the world, whatever that means. There's not a lot you can get for a dollar in Belgium either, but okay, chewing gum might come in handy. In Finland, you can get access to a public toilet. But if you ask nicely, the coffee shop down the road might help you save a buck on that. Poland has a traditional dessert that looks like a donut, and two pieces cost a dollar. The dough is rich, fluffy, filled with jam, and covered in powdered sugar. Traditionally, they eat it on Fat Thursday. In the States, people went crazy over it too, but we eat it on Fat Tuesday. Tuesday, Thursday, potato, potato. (laughs) I'm up for a couple of these any day of the week. If you're visiting Switzerland, you're going to need a bit more than a dollar. But okay, you can go to a deli and taste a really, really tiny piece of Swiss cheese. Just to see what you've been missing. They might not even charge you. Another thing you can get for a dollar is uh, maybe one apple. Maybe. Pinto. It's a traditional Spanish snack, usually just bread with toppings like vegetables, pickles, or meat. They sell it everywhere. But the good local places that sell it for a dollar are usually hidden in the non-touristy areas. All that for just a dollar? Not bad. In Germany, find a pretzel, eat it. No, it's not that kind of pretzel. It's a freshly baked bready thing that's all kinds of delicious. Or you can buy 400 cotton swabs if you're not hungry. It's a nice sunny day in Sweden. You're taking a walk, enjoying your day, and you're in the mood for something refreshing. For a dollar, of course. Ooh, an ice cream popsicle. Okay, you totally got me. I'm in. Going to Brazil? Great. A dollar there can get you a glass of fresh orange juice. Or even better, if you don't feel like walking around with your backpack all day, get to the nearest bus station. They have lockers there, so you can ditch your stuff and head straight for the beach. Time for Colombia. In the capital, Bogota, you can get coffee with two biscuits or an arepa, a traditional corn delicacy that comes in different flavors. Then, (laughs) more coffee. If you're wandering around New York City, you might just be able to find a tasty slice of pizza for that price. It just might take a while. Are your car or bike tires flat? Well, you know the price for using the air pump. Need some string, some buttons, a few balloons, or something equally random? Head to the 99-cent store. And in Canada, you can buy lettuce. In Costa Rica, you can get a whole watermelon, papaya, or pineapple. And in Tanzania, a nice potato omelet.